Well, Ed, this is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. Thank you for sending in all this detail and information. Unfortunately, these pictures aren't big enough. Uh, I even tried to download them and zoom in. I just can't read the details, you know, if you got even way in here. I can't tell whether what says what and where, so I get the understanding of what you're trying to do. So we're going to have to take a little couple guesswork into your model. But uh, yeah, we can sort it out, no problem. So we'll leave that there. We'll jump on over to your model. So here's your model. Let's look at it in the 3D. And from what the pictures tell me um, that you sent in, it looks like, um, wow, well, it looks like your gable is supposed to go straight across here. And it's supposed to be the top gable of the house. Then there's a gable on this side and a gable on that side. Let's just confirm again. I'm going to go back to your email. And I'm just looking at this one. This one kind of tells us everything. Uh, let's see. Can I zoom in here? Where's my zoom in? Uh, uh, uh. I don't see it. So if I download it and open it up that way, I'm sure I can zoom in by every... So let's zip it right up. And I'm just following these lines. Also, I want you to pay close attention to what the architect did here. He drew this line and this line. And you know what that is? That's where the roof cuts into the bedroom. And so basically, this is going to be sloped, and then it'll be a flat roof here, and then a flat roof here, and then slopes back. And again, I can't read these 12 and 12, 10 and 12. I mean, I don't know what it is. Who knows who cares, man? We're just going to do it. But see, this is where he has the gable straight across, a gable off the end, and gable off the end. And let's um, let's try to go to some more pictures here, just to confirm. Here's an elevation. Yeah, it shows the gable. There's the top gable. And the top gable is the top gable that goes through the house, through the medium. Okay. So I think I got it. So I'm just going to minimize that, minimize that. And we can leave the 3D view open for now. That's good. And let's go to all layers off. Let's go to roof plan set. Make it a lot easier to look at stuff, right? Um, I don't like your roof, so no offense. I'm just going to delete it. Because it's going to be a lot easier to just manually draw this roof in exactly the way it wants. Now, this is a point where the second wall comes up. So that's where the gable is going to go across. So between, and I don't need dimensions on, so I'm going to go in here to dimensions and turn all the dimensions off. Don't need to see any of that. But basically, from this point to that point, it's going to be that first gable on the second floor. So I'm going to take the roof. And I'm going to slide it down this wall and jump it up. Now, you have it set to 812, I see. But that's fine. Slide this up. And with this edge selected, I'm going to hit 2 on the keyboard to now select it to that edge. So it molds it to that edge, or it brings it to that edge. And then I'm going to line those two edges up and pull this sucker straight across the house. Because we know this is your main gable that's going through the straight of the house the way the architect had drawn it for you. Um, then there's another one here. We have to be careful, like I was saying, those dotted lines, it cuts through that house. So I'm just going to start right off that wall so I can get a straight line on my straight roof. Again, straight line across and straight up. And I'm going to connect the two. Hit number two on the keyboard, and there it connects. And I'm just going to drag it back for purposes of this uh, exercise. I'm dragging it back to the other roof that I just created and drag this out here. Now, let's take a look in the 3D where we're at so far. And we should see two gables. One at the end, which needs to cut through the house, and the other one that is going to be the main gable. And the reason why it looks like he wanted to cut through the house is he wanted to make sure that that gable didn't exceed the top height of this gable, and that might be the top height to what you can build to. Who knows? And then there's going to be another gable off of here. And from the looks of it, that gable had to be a different pitch than these in order to fit inside this roof plane. And I think that's another thing that could have thrown you off. So if we look at this, we can see this roof plane does fit inside this roof plane. So in order that 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 in order for that to fit is this roof pitch has to be a lot less than these here. So we'll have to come to that when we get to it. But for now, we're doing pretty good. Now we just need to lower this bad boy. And we don't know how much to lower it because I can't read those pictures, but maybe you can. I'm just going to guesstimate. I'm going to select them both. Click the first one, hold down shift, select the second one. Now I have both roofs. And I can go to this transform replicate, and I'm just going to move it down. I'm going to say negative 
mm, three feet. Well, let's just try. And down it goes. And so you can see it easily cuts the wall where it's supposed to and right on down. And this wall is not behaving as it should. So I'm going to select this wall by clicking on it. It didn't get the whole wall, it got the whole room. So I'm going to hit tab on the keyboard, which selects this wall. Then I'm going to open the wall and um, go to the structure tab. And I'm going to select top and bottom height. Now you can see it behaving more uh, accurately. Okay, so let's get back to the view of the house here and let's put on the last little gable. So I'm going to drag it across here and come up and drag it across here and come up. I'm going to take this edge, hit number two on my keyboard and connect it to that edge. And again, I'm going to stretch it past the line. My grab handles are nice, big, and red, and if yours aren't, you can go to chieftutor.com and find out exactly how to get your grab handles nice, big, and red. Okay, now we want to make sure something's turned on here in order for us to see how the roof is cutting through. So I'm going to go to a very special place. It's called Ceiling Break Lines, and I'm going to turn it on, and to even enhance it more, I'm going to make it red. And red tells us exactly where it's cutting through. Like this one's real close to that door and this one's a little further over. So if we go back to our picture, we can see that this line is cutting just in front of the door and this one's kind of where the shower is. So we know we might have gone down too low. So I'm going to select this one and select that one and go to my transform replicate. And I'm just going to go up a little bit. Let's go up 12 inches. And we can kind of see now it's behaving more correctly. Notice the red line doesn't go all the way through. Well, that's because in this room, it's selected with no ceiling. So if I double click this and I went to the structure tab and I turned on the flat ceiling, we would see the red lines go all the way through. But in this case, we don't know if it's doing flat or uh, vaulted in there. I mean, maybe it specifies on the architectural plans. But we know we pretty much have it right. So now we need to connect all these roofs. So let's do that. Let's go to the 3D. And we can see that this roof plane is definitely lower than that roof plane, which works out great. And then this one's going berserko. So let's double click these, open it up. We're going to lock the bottom. This is the fascia bottom. We're locking that point. We don't want it to move up or down. So we're going to lock it and we're going to change our pitch down to four. And that should lower it enough to where it could tie into the original roof. And sure enough, it does. Now let's make it tie in. I'm going to select this roof and I'm going to use three on my keyboard to cut. I'm going to cut it right there. Hit three on my keyboard and cut the other one right there. And the reason why I did that is now I can drag this up and kind of create like a V cutout for where this roof has to attach to. So I say I want that edge, hit number two on my keyboard to attach to that edge. I'm using the conjoin method, which is over here. And notice the hotkey is two. So again, I'm going to go select, then hit number two and select that. And it just binds up really nice. Now let's do it over here. I'm going to select this roof, hit three. I want to cut it right about there. Hit three, going to cut again, right about there. And then one more time, three, I'm going to cut right in the middle. And I grab that middle one and just kind of pull it up. Now here we kind of have to do the same thing. I take three and cut it right where it's supposed to turn. Come in here, hit three, cut it right there. So now I know that this edge, if I hit number two, should conjoin to that edge. And vice versa, that edge to that edge. Select this edge. I'm going to hit three again, make sure, oh, okay, it's already in there. So I'm selecting this edge, hitting number two and there. And now if I back away, I'm starting to see my roof take place. And that should be more like what you drew. Now we can fix some of these other things. See this wall popping through? Well, that's because this roof isn't further back. Now on the drawings, it looked like that roof might even be flat because I didn't really see a pitch to it, but you can get to that as you get to that. Um, let's go over here, make sure everything looks good here. This looks like it needs to come over and attach, get closer to that corner. If I get too close, it cuts that siding right off. So I just ease it off, holding control on my keyboard and dragging that sucker back until the siding pops up.
and there is messing with roofs here at chieftutor.com just under 10 minutes i hope you learned something new you can watch this video over and over again to until it starts to make sense and if not come on over to chieftutor.com and um you know watch all my roof videos i'm sure you'll be able to get it thanks so much for watching enjoy the day